Hi, today I'm gonna show you how I made this outdoor sofa by modifying some Anna White plants that you can find for free online. I used a bunch of old wood that I got for free from someone and so I had to do a bunch of work to get it ready to be used for this couch. So I have a separate video walking you through how to prepare old wood for working with. But if you are using new wood, you go ahead and just get right into the building here. Once my boards were all prepped, I took my cut list and got all the boards cut to the right lengths for the whole project. Right here, I'm using a Craig jig pocket hole jig to get all the holes drilled for pocket holes. So the screws are hidden in a lot of the joints. Here I'm assembling the frames that will be the bench of the couches. Um, so yeah, I just use pocket hole screws on the joints and then added supports in between. My camera died, but this is what the two looked like afterwards. Here I strayed from the Anna White plans because they have it so the armrest is the same height as the backrest and we wanted the backrest to be a little higher. I also made each of ours um, with just one armrest because they are going to be able to go next to each other to make an extra long couch. I also used these 2x8s instead of 2x4s on the bench, so that is a little different too. The cool thing is you, it, you can be really flexible and you know customize it to your space. For the backrest, I cut these long legs extra long because I wasn't sure exactly how long I would how tall I would want the backrest. And so I did it at the very top, sat in it, and didn't really feel like it was going to work. I think the cushions that we have will be too short and the wood would still show. So here I am making an adjustment and lowering it to a height that I think should work better for our couch. Here you get to see a little more of the assembling process as I'm doing the smaller couch. Um, so I made the armrest that H kind of shape and then attached it to the side on the side that will have an armrest and then on the other side I cut a short leg and a long leg and just screwed those directly into the bench frame. Now I'm adding that backrest at the right height the first try. Once they were all assembled I needed to do another quick sand before painting them. I started spraying them with my paint sprayer, which doesn't have the best coverage, but it was working out just fine. Okay, my friend let me use her really nice paint sprayer and it just was going on so smooth and such good coverage. It goes on so much better. <laughs> so nice, huh? <laughs> So it was working great for a little while and then I don't know what happened, but it like got clogged and was going on in like streams. We did a lot of troubleshooting, but at that point I ended up just finishing painting it by hand and that was fine. And then I got to go on to the cushions. I started with these foam pads and cut them into two foot by two foot cushions. Then Adding the cushion covers was a different story, way harder than I expected. I thought they would just slide on, but I had to wrestle those things in there. After five minutes of struggle, finally got it on. Then I got to do it for a bunch more cushions. It did get a little easier as I went though. Okay, I'm going to talk you through the cost of this whole couch. Um, all of the wood that I used was reused from a swing set for my in-laws. And so I had to prep all the wood a lot to get it ready for this. Um, and then the paint for the wood was left over in our shed from the previous owners. I got all the white cushions from a warehouse sale at Walker Edison. 
and I got this whole box of them for $12.50 and that was like the pillows and the covers. The most expensive thing was the seat cushions because I had to get them to the right size and everything and they only came in like a size where it came with three and ended up being three cushions per thing and the covers came in four packs and I needed five cushions so I paid more than I needed to overall but that was you know, the best way to get it and that ended up being a hundred dollars for the foam and 80 for the covers and then I also bought pocket hole screws so that was like five dollars for a pack so there it is the total was you know 180 plus 12.50 plus five so that gets you 197 something so it could have been a lot more expensive so use what you've got and try to find some deals and you can make it a lot more affordable.